Any cool looking? We got some red sorcerers. Oh, two of these guys already... See, two of these guys bought the skin. Fucking millionaires. Assholes. All right, 40 seconds. Yeah, this boss, the gold shit on the ground, the melting gold was beautiful. I need to, I need to see it in person. You're just grouped up with paying players so you would want to pay yourself? I doubt that. People have way too much money. Or people spend money on their hobbies. And don't spend money on other things. Oh, fuck. Why is that such a difficult concept for some people to understand? Especially gamers. Like, what? Some people spend all their money on collectibles. Bills and then collectibles. Close. I don't know what how what to avoid on this fight. There's people who spend all their money on Warhammer uh, figurines, but that's because it's their hobby. So they can paint it. Hey yo, give me the barrier. Shit. Dude, his the mallet sound. Stay alive, boys. Oh yeah, we should we could have grouped up in the clan, I forgot. So I can only do this world boss once a week or, or the big cat oh shit, the big cash? Can I do all the world bosses once a week for the big cash? Right? Oh yeah, that's what the gold looks like. Damn! Definitely cursed. Oh fuck. Motherfucker's got a big ass chest on his arm. Alright, 12 minutes. Do we have enough DPS on this group? Shit, we should have done a clan run. Fuck, I forgot about that. Because, yeah, how does it work? Because if the world scales to you, what if there's, like, level 60s with 30s? Does it just, like, average it out? It actually looks like everybody's around my level. So maybe it tries to group close levels. Dead. Stay alive, boys. Everybody here is beating the campaign. If we can survive Lilith and that fucking boar guy, the cannibal guy, boss who was with Elias, we can do this. Because that guy was arguably the hardest boss in the game. There's a goblin! 
Alright, this is how they debate you. Oh god, I'm a loot whore. They fucking know I'm a loot whore. What? Nice, thank you. That's bullshit. I don't even know how I died. Oh shit. Kill that fucking rat. Nice. Pick his shit up later. Wow, he dropped jack shit. to make an all. It's fucking bad. But then, like, I, I don't know how long it would take to get to this point. Because I do want to gear up. I do want to do endgame. But I want to also make, like, a sorcerer or some shit. Or, like, a ranger rogue. Yeah, but I understand. I, I know. What I'm saying is with the campaign skip, how long would it take to hit level 50? What the fuck? That thing one taps you. It looked like I wasn't even in the spot. This guy does no damage, but that one move, one taps. Ashava has a poison that fucks you up. But you just have to dodge that one, like, back move, and then she's easy. Donk! That nice overpower damage. I think I think this group can do it. Actually, eight eight minutes. Yeah, that's the one tap right there. If you avoid that, it's easy mode. That doesn't do a lot of damage either when he charges you. Oh, fuck! Ow! He heard me. Bonk. In the middle! Yo, stun range! Fat loot! Oh yeah, if I do the capstone dungeon on this guy, do I have to do the capstone dungeon on a, do I have world tier three unlocked on my uh, alt? Or is capstone character based? Nice, nice. Yeah, I just realized, does he have horn? Are his eyes horns? Fuck! Bro, res me! You know, man, if they made a Lost Ark, give Lost Ark combat, keep everything here the same and just give me Lost Ark combat, you have one of the best ARPGs. The end. Done. Bro! I am out of it! Literally take this whole game and give me Lost Ark classes or like a Lost Ark combat vibe, but literally the perfect ARPG. I prefer this game's gearing systems by a mile. 
by 20 miles compared to fucking Lost Ark. Even if maybe they had like Lost Ark raids. Bro, that's ridiculous. No one can escape that shit. My fucking space bar isn't fast enough. Yeah, well, the mage has a fucking blink. I have no traversal. A rogue has a dash. I've gotten donked by that so many times. Grand cash? We have to damage the treasure chest? Oh, that was fucking sick, bro. We fought him from daytime to nighttime. That was kind of cool, actually. We have to DPS the fucking treasure chest. Wow, one legendary. When I did a Shava, it dropped like 50 legendaries. But that was probably with the buff. All right, what do we have here? Whenever your blood skills overpower, you gain 47 attack speed. That's actually fucking great. Nice, I can just throw that on. Bone Storm, a lady deal, uh, are also darkness skill. Oh, true. Um, I have that aspect. Uh... Mm, I might actually uh, extract that shit. All right. Gee, I'm a little curious. Is there anyone in chat here who skipped the story on an alt? How fast are you leveling? All right, let me go do the capstone dungeon. 25% overpower damage on gloves. Get people to boost you. Wait, can you, can you get, can people boost you in this game? I doubt anyone would do that. Can you do that like in Diablo 3? Wait, seriously? How long would it take to boost up to this level? Would they invite me to a group? I don't think there's anything bad with it because I would just main I would just main that class. Is gold account based? Huh. What if I make a new character? Shish. And they can invite me to world tier three. Fuck, do I make a rogue or do I make a sorcerer? I still wanna do I wanna see like big numbers. I just see so many rogues. I think a fire mage, fire sorcerer just sounds kinda sick. And I feel like a sorcerer probably has big numbers eventually, especially a fire source. Go barbarian. 
Fire Sorcerer is all about dots. Yeah, let's go Sorcerer. I'm gonna go Source. Yeah, every class is gonna have insane numbers, true. It just comes down to uh, having the right numbers. Ice Sorcerer is better than Fire. Do the, Why do I do the Capstone first? I guess an Electric Wizard would be cool. Uh, yeah, but someone can invite me to World Tier 3. World Tier 3 is our character cap, not account cap, right? So, do I have to unlock World Tier 3 on one character? So I should do it? You need to unlock it globally on one character. That's what I was asking before. Yeah, let me just do the capstone here then and then uh, see if I can find people who are higher level who can, uh, I, yeah. Necro's fun, but like, yeah. I like Necro, but yeah. Someone can carry you through the capstone. I want to do the capstone just to experience it once. And then I, what I'm, I'm curious about if you can actually do, I guess I could make a rogue and go penetrating shot rogue. I want to make like an archer, like in Halls of Torment is what I'm trying to make. You know, like an insane fucking ranger that does just attacks fast as a fucking archer. You know, that's what I want. And I remember in the beta, the bow and arrow was underwhelming. Collect like animus from the revenants. Oh, so this is the same question here. Oh yeah, those aren't friendly. I was gonna say. Bro, these guys. Holy shit, buddy. These guys absolutely shit on all my fucking minions. Everybody shits on my minions now. I'm just sitting here recasting. God damn. Shit. I gotta get these guys way tankier. Let's see if that does anything. No, so they can't receive, uh... They can't receive like a massive one tap now with those points in that. 
It makes it so they only can take... Yeah, they survive way longer. They essentially can't get one tap now. But they'll just die over time. Yo, this is fucking ridiculous. <sighs> this is fucking ridiculous. Respect time? Do I gotta go back to Blight? Uh... I hate these minions so much. I really do. Oh my god. Holy shit, I can't do this. It's static difficulty. I'm honestly surprised that does no fucking damage. Like, what? That's insane. Gear up too, it's not just the build. Yeah. I don't think there's any point in doing this. I can't even get through the initial part. You should get to level 50 first. Yeah. Level all to 50? Yeah, but don't I need to... I did it level 42 on Pulverized Druid. Yeah, man, I've been clearing everything in this game and now uh, that shit was like a hard fuck you, essentially. You suck. Go world tier one just to end the campaign. What do you mean? The campaign's over. All right, let's see here. Yeah, so for sure I need to do Capstone Dungeon on one character to get World Tier 3. So there's no point in getting boosted until then. It's per character. So then how are people getting boosted in Tier 3? They're not. Tier two. Okay, let's go make a rogue. We're going rogue. I'm being an archer. We're going rogue mode. Customize. Randomize. Hey, yeah, who wants the boost? Who wants the boost? I need boosters. Perfect. You have unlocked the ability to skip the campaign. Lotharic. Skip campaign. 
Whoa! No one has the name Lothric? Necro is good, man. I guess my build just fucking sucks balls. Oh, wait. Isn't it number-based? Alright, how am I gonna get people? I need people on my friends list who would want to boost me. So, they would, like, summon me, or I would just join them. I, oh, yeah, I still get my mount, right? Which is nice. Um... I want, I'm curious how fast I can do this. Yeah, I'm curious. Hey, yo, if anyone in the clan wants the boost, uh, I just need... How big are the parties? Four? Five, man? Four, man? I need three Light people shine. if you're uh, kind of geared up. You can do it up. I'll invite you. You just- we just do dungeons. That's all you do. We just literally do dungeons. And I just kind of chill and then I get leveled up. How do I invite you guys? I can't like click your name? Press enter then click. Oh. Smack, you sure? I mean, already a second character is not really weird if I make this guy my main. What the fuck is this guard doing? Lilith! I need, uh, who is the fourth guy who is down? He's confused. Must be the wind! Must be the wind! Wait, are we full? No, what the fuck? Where's... Oh, there we go. Okay, so essentially, I'm assuming we all just want to meet up. Oh, so I don't have the whole world discovered either. Lol. I mean, I guess it's not that weird. Buddy, what the fuck are you doing? You're making me nervous. So, like, we can literally spam the same dungeon constantly. So everybody come to Kyobashad and then um, our port... We gotta clear Stronghold first, though. Why? You can't just say that and not say why. Why would you need to do the fucking Stronghold first? He's talking about the OP... Oh, there's a specific dungeon? <sighs> the wind's grown too cutting. Even Ma for these the parts. Margua dungeon. Oh. I thought this guy said he doesn't know how to lead. But he does know of the dungeon. Alright, boys. If I die, banned. Alright? Yes! All right, all right. Yo, be efficient, okay? I got I got to quickly get to end game. We got to do this before they like hot fix it or whatever. Yes. I'm helping. I'm helping. Wait, so the Okay, so this is it. Okay. Oh, it didn't discover? Oh, it did. Okay. So I wonder if I kind of chill? I don't have to be super close in order to get the XP. I just kind of got to be in the vicinity-ish. So yeah, does it count? Okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice. Surprised they're not aggroing me. Not level 50 by end of stream. Banned. Yep. Is there a cooldown on reset? Yeah. 
Or can we just keep doing the mall knock dungeon over and over and over again? If there's a cooldown, we're kind of fucked. There is a cooldown. Well, I guess what we could do is we do mall knock other dungeon and then come back and hopefully that's enough of a cooldown. No CD via party unless they fixed it. All right. Let them carry you through capstone so you can get tier three. Bro, I don't, bro. We literally just talked about the fact that capstone is character based. If they carry me on my necro to tier three, it doesn't unlock it for my rogue. So we have to be in tier two. You can do it now on the rogue. Oh, really? Oh, cause it unlocks once you do the campaign, right? Yo, uh, yo, uh, let's do the capstone. Uh, after this. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll get access to the dungeon. And then we're gonna go, uh, capstone. Tier three, and then we'll spam the dungeon. And then someone said if you just leave the party. Um... and rejoin it, you it resets. Streamer carries aren't weird. People did this. I remember when I went back to Diablo 3, like off stream a long time ago, I was like, yo, can someone carry me? And some guy invited me and just like fucking quickly leveled me to 60. That's not that weird. This part, it's kind of like we've already experienced it all. I'd rather just quickly get to the point where I was. I don't think that's odd. I'm literally going to keep all my points and spec at level 50. That's not weird. It's kind of whatever. We already beat the campaign. We're not missing anything. I just want to play something else to gear up. Yeah, the power leveling is normal. That's just, this is just Diablo shit. Only once you have to do the quest. The capstone you have to do once. Until the next tier. 70? Yo, who's the fucking guy outside? Come fight Frosthorn. Smack's getting fucking owned. Spack D, get the fuck in here, bro. They're killing the guy. Yeah, man, doing all this. I want a goddamn bow. I want an insane rogue that just shoots ridiculous amounts of arrows fast to crit. That's what I want. Oh, shit! Yeah, you're lucky I'm here to res you guys. World first, level four, resing a level 50. I should, my name should be carved on that statue. No one's done that in this game. Everything's an upgrade right now. Yes, 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 yes. All right, nice. Rekindle the Wanderer Shrine. Damn, yo, level seven for this? And this is just like the, we're chilling here. Okay, so is this Malnok? Anika's claim. Okay, yo, capstone. 
then we can do dungeon. Alright, let's go. Uh, let me see. Where's Kyovashad? I'm actually leveling decently well. Wait, you're leveling well at level 58? So you guys are benefiting a little bit. Yeah, Colonel, we're doing it right now. Let me see. I'm just gonna quickly meet at the capstone dungeon. I'm just gonna see if I can uh tell me mats are account wide. Please. Kettle's hot. What do you need? Please tell me. Oh my god, thank fucking god. I'm just gonna like craft three of these bullshits. Just to have the five percent. Oh level 45? Elixirs. Brood to order. Wait, they're all level 36? They're 25, 15? Oh, here we go. Whatever, they literally all give 5%. Alright, we're good. Alright, yo, Capstone, move, 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 move. I mean, it's, I'm glad you guys are getting XP too, so it's not like a waste of time for you guys. So you're grinding your Paragon. Blood Necro, uh, re-rolled to Archer Rogue Lol. <clears throat> New title. All right, let's move. Let's move. Yeah. What you guys doing up there? Isn't the isn't the capstone right here? We have to we have to do the capstone in order for to unlock tier three to switch it. I don't have it unlocked. Yeah, yeah, the dungeon. All right, let's see. So if I just chill here and you guys go fucking ham, I, this must level me very fast as well. Yeah, why didn't you guys zone in? Where are you? Necro just got boosted, so why the reroll? Necro did get boosted, but a lot of the boosting was the minions that got boosted in the in the uh patch nodes and like i'm fucking sick of the minions i want i want to be the main character not my fucking golem most of the stuff in the patch notes was mainly boosting of the the minions oh fuck guys oh fuck yeah so does the xp Alright, you're all banned. Yeah, so if I sit here, will I get XP or do I have to trail behind you guys? Oh, XP's instance wide? Oh, nice. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm gonna alt tab and just read the patch notes, all right, to reconfirm. Iron Golem, Blood Golem, Ray Skeleton, Death's Defense. This was nerfed. This was nerfed. This is like a 2% increase. Who gives a shit? Blood Wave is probably the biggest buff. I don't use Blood Lance. So it's like, yes, they did get buffed, but nothing too fucking crazy. Unless you like the minions. If you enjoy the minions then, you know, you'd want to probably use the Iron Golem. How much of Rogue? All of this is Rogue? I don't use Caltrops. Twisting Blades? Yeah, that, that Rogue hasn't had a lot of changes. Rogue's not that crazy. Anyone else have this new weird shit where your game freezes when you alt-tab? It wasn't like that yesterday. Dude, how do you guys go from no HP back to full? Is this bugged? Oh, yo, shit. Did I ever get the port to where we just clicked? Boys, I need a res. I'm gonna stay behind. My bad. All right, I'm just gonna fucking chill. I keep moving. My bad. 
Oh, fuck. Behind me. Help. All right. I'm going to stay right here. I'm chilling. I'm not moving. I'm going to look at this window. Wow, this window is like the shittiest texture compared to everything else. Oh, fuck. All right, let me stay here. All right, nice. Nice. Deposit the animus. We're almost done. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. Those were your minions. Oh, my God. The thing is, yeah, I don't know if you can be... You can be a full archer rogue and just have it so you're... Ah, motherfucker! Hey! And then one of your, your, your daggers or your swords are stat sticks. All right, res me. Fuck it, I'll just revive at the checkpoint. It doesn't even matter. You don't need to res me. I'm just gonna stay right here. Eyes in the dark? What is this? Unless it hits a boss or player, Death Trap will continue to rearm itself until it kills an enemy. Hits with this weapon have up to a 20% chance to do double damage and knock back the target. Damn, bro. You got a sacred, unique bow? Fuck me. I want to be there. I want that bow. I'm surprised this capstone gives jack shit for XP. Assign skill points. I'm going to assign all of them at level 50. We'll get there. We'll get there. We're As soon as this is done, we'll go to world tier 3 and then go do the uh, Anika's claim. Yeah, actually kind of feels like I'm not getting XP. Maybe it isn't dungeon wide. Oh my god, there's a legendary that dropped over there. I need an escort. Yeah, so range matters. Oh! Shit, I might actually need to put a point into like dash or some shit. Uh oh. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, just kill that guy real quick. Nice. Alright, good shit, boys. Interact with the teleport to move to the next area of the dungeon. Is this like... This is clearly multiple levels. Yeah, I say... F we should. I should probably go back and get that legendary, but you know what? It's gonna be a piece of shit level 7 legendary, even though it's worth disenchanting. Whatever. There's no point. For the sake of efficiency, there's no point. Wait, it auto sends it to your chest if you don't pick shit up? All the loot you don't pick up are all legendary. So hypothetically, you could just quickly level and not loot anything. Only legendaries? Because And probably sacreds and uniques, right? seems like the slowest power level and it will get way faster once we uh, are done here how many how many levels is the capstone chat I'm gonna stay right here oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck put the sword down buddy Put it down, buddy. Put 
Put it down, buddy. With our current speed, tier two, tier one might be better. Well, I say we just do this, see how tier three is. If it's slow or we're getting our asses kicked, we'll switch back to tier two. I think that's gonna be the way to do it. Bro, this same skelly. All right, nice. I can stay here now. Yo, actually true. We do have a level 47 here. I don't know, the level 47, I mean, I think we're fine. The thing is, wait, you're level 47. So we should probably get someone else in here if we're going to tier three. Cause you're gonna get fucked. Cause I would, I would get fucked on my necro who's 47. Yeah. Says the level 10? Motherfucker, the whole point of this is for me to get fed. Oh, fuck. I have a kitchen knife. Yo. Motherfucker, it wasn't worth it. What the hell? Oh. Guys, Necro's not bad, alright? I'm bad. Necro's- some people are gonna dig Necro. I- I dug Necro, but then now I'm just getting annoyed of the summoning aspect of it. I'm just annoyed of that. I'm sick of seeing the fucking minions on the screen. I just want to see my character. For the carry, can I ask if you will play my shitty indie game on Sub Sunday? Buddy, some pe you know, some viewers just carry their favorite streamer and don't ask for shit like that. So no. Blood overpower Necro is so freaking fun. All right, y'all. Defeat the curator. Is this the last step for tier three? Oh, fuck. Oh, come on, boys. The Necro community will hear about your treachery. Oh, fuck! I know, it seems that way, huh? Yeah, uh, Ashley, after this, just because you're 47, I mean, you know... Let's, let's like... Due to the scaling, you might be, like, fucking the numbers up. I'm trying to do this in, like, a stream, not five days. My gaming schedule is limited. Every minute counts. We could, I don't know if it's faster to three man. All right, so we good. Let's go to tier three and now let's go do the dungeon. I swear to God, this better be amazing XP. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, tier three, boys. Your entire party must be present and alive to do that. Oh. Uh, all need to be here. Uh, to switch to three. Uh, yo, thank you anyways, Ashley. You should be doing the dungeon Mogwans, Works, and Hawazar. 
Um, someone in, someone in chat said to do Mogwins. Chat, we're not playing that fucking game. Suck a huge dick. You're all fucking annoying. I ain't fucking playing that shit. Fuck you and your vote. What was what was that dungeon called? It flew away cuz you fuck spam. Oh, who's this? Help me over the hell tide. Can you feel it, Wanderer? Like surf along the coast, the tides of hell rise up, bleeding into sanctuary. Tortured souls bearing tortured gifts roam these lands. Take those gifts and use them to fight back the armies of the seven hells. What the hell? Hell tides. Periodically rise in areas. Collect aberrant cinders and exchange them for tortured gifts. Chests containing loot for specific item slots. Navigate to these map markers to find tortured gifts. Oh, I see. So they're just scattered around the map. Um, okay, so why don't we go... We can do Magua's bullshit. Do you guys know where that is? It's right... We can go... Hold on, where are you right now? Where the fuck are you on the map? Bro, where are you on the map? Just take my TP. Oh. Let's try this dungeon and then we'll try the uh, right of Zarbinzet Town, Hawazar, called Mogwin's Works. And how was our we can try later? Okay. I'm assuming uh Tome of the Frozen. Oh yeah, this is Anika's claim. Alright, let's see. How fast this is. Yeah, I, I don't know. We're going to not do a fourth. We're just going to stay here and not do a fourth. Yeah, how am I not getting any XP? I did. I had the XP pot on. Wait, I thought I did. I did. Oh, it doesn't show you, lol. Am I too far? Oh, and dude, it, it is not. Yeah, dude, I was too far. Hey, yo, if there's any fourth who wants to join, if you're yeah, over yeah. level 50, like around level 55, if you can join, if you want to, say some shit in chat. Oh, my fucking God. Ooh. I got you, bio. All right. Wait, now I'm getting XP from here. Weird. You can stay far. Uh, this is like a delay until it shows your XP going up. I don't think so. You were always getting XP. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because he, top right says 55 for you. All 
All right, I'm gonna try to stay like, yeah. All right, I'll stay like right here. Okay. Yeah, the bar's moving on every pack kill. Yeah, I just thought it would be like a pack a level. Or like fucking a pack is like three, four bars. I think I'm thinking of how fast it was in Diablo 3. Diablo 3, 20 minutes, you can boost somebody. Yeah, but the nearby player bonus is 5%, so I'm at 10% right now. This dungeon is shit compared to the broken one. All right, yeah, let's go to the uh, one in Halazar after this then, just to see the difference. Are you fucking kidding me? Pause, Rez! I don't know what to tell you. I literally, dude, it, I, what was I supposed to do there? All right. You think the campaign is just as fast? Yeah, like, okay, if I stand here, am I, I mean, shit, I'll just stand, I'll just stay right here, man. That's nice. Uh, I can't wear, like, the majority of this gear right now. It's all higher level. It's all level 47 gear. Yes! Stay at the entrance and watch some virtual vacation movies? Nah. Okay, more XP over there. Specialization quest available, lol. We're gonna do that at level 50. It is getting faster. It is, right? Look at the bar speed. Oh yeah, if you hover over it, you can see the XP. That's actually kind of, I didn't know you could see the dynamic change. Okay, okay. Oh shit. Yo, not bad. Passive income. Three levels in two minutes. I should have a timer on the screen. Hello. Hello. 
You are courting pain and death. All right, I'm just going to pick all this shit up to sell. All right, yeah, as soon as we're done here, we're going to Halazar and seeing how big of a difference it is. I spawned in here at like level... We were, was I level 11? So like five levels a dungeon. Obviously, it's going to go down. Level Was I level 10? True. I, I mean, I essentially, we essentially started at 3 p.m. So from 3 p.m. And then you also get like a shit ton of XP for completing the dungeon, don't you? No, you don't. Lol. All right, let's go to Hawazar. One of you guys is going to have to go there and then we'll use your port. I mean, it wasn't bad, though. Six levels a dungeon? Shit. Um, chat, what was the dungeon called? Um, Mawar some shit. Uh, uh, Hawazar. Um, Mogwin's works. Let's see. I played, the, I played the rogue in the beta. I, I literally, my rogue was insane in the beta. I got furps, skins, and steel. I'm literally just, I, maybe I should, I'm just gonna keep... Mm, I mean, I'll just sell all this stuff. Let's have a look at. All right, let me see. Uh, let me see here. You can take what's left. You know what? Whatever. It doesn't even matter right now. We're gonna keep getting more and more gear. That it doesn't matter if I salvage everything for mats, even if it's really good. If anything, um, I'll start extracting those aspects next time. It might be worth just constantly extracting all of the aspects I get. Uh, I found it on my way. Nice. All right. Yeah, I'm going to start doing it. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Every time I get an aspect, I'll extract it so I'm ready. Tell your carries to search first area without doing objectives, and once they cleared one to two rare packs, they recreate group. Is that the strat? Ask them to open a nightmare dungeon. You think the XP is way better in a nightmare dungeon? Wow, no sub Sunday. Buddy, if you're a gamer, it's not that surprising. I'm playing one of the biggest games out right now. This would be like if Elden Ring came out and then like, you're like, I decided to, did I play Elden Ring on Sub Sunday when it came out? And you're like, wow, no Sub Sunday when the whole fucking gaming world is playing Elden Ring. I'm not gonna I'll go play Bob's you. indie game. Why are we always the ones who get watch duty? Okay, so let me just see. Uh... You know, you know what I'm saying? Elden Ring was on another level. You know what? I don't think so. I think all games... Nah, this game has more longevity than Elden Ring. To me. But it's also more... It's a live service game. No shit. Fuck no! You're crazy! You're crazy! What are you... Chat, you're fucking Papega. What are you even talking about? I have no reason to go back to Elden Ring. I played the living shit out of the game. The next time I go back... 
is when there's DLC. You missed a lot. Now you're just making shit up. I have literally every achievement. What the fuck you say? What the fuck you say? What did you say about other ring? I'm calling my mom. Mom, did you hear what you said about other ring? What? I'm calling your dad. Ah, uh, son just told us about this fucking asshole said about other ring. Oh my god, I'm calling. Uh... I don't know. Relax, Chad, all right? Look at your map and you will see. Ding! All right, yo, we need 31 more dings, I believe. I mean, even if I'm, if we wrap this up at level like 45, that's fine too. Yeah, even even that's fine too. Like uh, basically around where my necro was, where uh, around where you start the end game is essentially where I'm trying to get to, anyways. Now disband and rejoin. I don't get that. What are you saying? Why why are we disbanding and rejoining? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. To avoid the cooldown. Oh. What happens if we disband? Yo, disband and we recreate group. That was so we don't go past this part. Do we do smack? You want to do the wait? So, okay. So if I leave the party, it ports you out. So you really? Oh, so you only do the first couple of packs and then you reset without going further. Okay, got you. I mean, we literally spawned right outside, so it's not that bad. Hot take, Minecraft Dungeon is better than D4. I actually really enjoyed Minecraft Dungeons when it first came out. I, I actually thought it was pretty fucking good. Okay, so... Okay, nice. So now we're good. So we now should be able to join back in. Okay, so we just have to keep looping and doing that. Okay, uh, invite pending. The chat just lives by hating on games. Yeah, sometimes I wonder what game. Sometimes I think people aren't gamers here. Sometimes I wonder. All right, here we go. So, I mean, shit, that was like. Two bar, that was like two levels, two levels. All right, it's 315. Let's base it off of this. It's 315. I'm 19 and a half. 315, 19 and a half. Okay, okay. Alright, chill, chill. It's low effort for the tenure of wait. You think so?
I mean, sure, they had a bit of a, they had a blueprint to go off of. You know, it's like, everything is kind of like an enhanced Diablo 3, sure. Yeah, I don't know. It's still fun. I think, I think you're, huh. I don't know. A little of me feels like some of you guys, like, you, you try to criticize the game too hard. It's like, I don't know what the fuck you were expecting. Like, it's fun enough. Like, what are you expecting? Like, the game is good enough for what it is. Like, I... It will, it will, it will get the job done. Oh, get fucked, bitch! Owned! All right, yeah, exit, yeah, sure, yeah. So we just leave party again. Just leave party, we port out, re-invite. Bio, is it a pain in the ass to do invites? Thing is, it's too expensive for the content provided. Honestly, at this point, beating the campaign, I think it's subjective to what you just said. I think the $70 price tag, it feels like this game has enough stuff and the campaign, the voice acting, you, you can see, it doesn't feel like, oh, I'm about to play Gollum for 60 bucks. And you don't feel like no dev popped off there. You can see where devs popped off when you play this game, where you're like, oh, I see the quality. So it's it's more subjective to how you value the game. Yeah. I think I, I see the seventy dollar value so then in this game. I stuck the fool with his own blade. <laughs> yeah. 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 Seventy dollars is too much for a game. Yeah. Well, I hate to break it to you, buddy. That's the norm. Now. Oh my god, that guy almost fucking killed me. Yeah, chat, we're not having this conversation again. It's fucking ridiculous. The amount of fucking games you fucks have pirated. You must have saved a shit ton of money to fucking spend $70 on a game. Once. Out of the 50 games you fucking pirated, totaling 50 times 60, $3,000 you saved. You can dish out $70, you frugal fuck. Once again, that's what I mean. I feel like I'm not talking to gamers. You guys act like this isn't your hobby. And then it's like, what are you spending your money on? But then I understand bills and shit. But like, what the fuck do you play then? What the fuck do you do? I don't spend money on shit other than bills and video games, but it's also because it's my hobby. I don't buy collectibles. I don't buy a lot of clothes. <sighs> I'm just looking at my expenses right now. At the end of the day, like... I know you guys are just waiting. There's a guy waiting to type in millionaire take. The, the thing is your arguments are flawed because these games are successful at this price point. So there's people who, the majority of people who are gamers allow games like this to be successful because they're able to charge that much. Because that means there's a majority willing to pay that much. All right, yeah, what the fuck? Party vote? Wait, are you guys, wait, what? 
because the majority have no self-control? Yeah, but not everybody is buying every AAA game. You Greetings. Know? Like I said, if I wasn't a streamer, I wouldn't be buying every fucking AAA game here. Granted, that, like a lot of the games, I play more single player games because I'm a streamer. And I've been more interested in single player games because I enjoy streaming those experiences. Yeah. You know? Like Final Fantasy 16 will be a great time. Like I'm looking forward to that shit. That's why I'm like, how much time do I have to play this game until that comes out? But then when I'm done with Final Fantasy 16, this game is still something that you can come back to and continue playing. But not every $70 game coming out, a lot of them a lot of them will just come out and be like, oh that's cool. I mean, I'm just gonna still play my game I'm grinding and not play or buy that $70 game. And just keep enjoying this game I'm playing that I spent $70 on previous. All right, whatever. I don't give a fuck. We're not we're not talking about this anymore. Oh wait, does Amnesia come out next week? Yeah, I have three mobs on me. I can kite for as long as I can. I should probably put a point. Oh fuck. I might be able to get back to you guys. Nope. Wait, maybe. <clears throat> I didn't get one tap. I'm level 23 now. I have some defense. Oh, fuck! Guys, you left 300 mobs! Alright, I'm gonna stay right here. I was alone? Oh. I mean, level 23, dude, not bad. Yeah, I fully believe the people who spent, who bought this game early access and shit, they know they're gonna spend a lot of time. They already know what they're getting into. You played PoE, you know? ARPG players don't just buy the game. You know you're gonna be grinding it. It's implied you're gonna be grinding it. You know? But you know there's gonna be a lot more shit. You're, you know you're gonna be grinding gear and it's gonna take a long time. You know what you're signing up for. Grinding while being boosted. That makes no sense. You know what I'm talking about. Whoa, a sacred sword? Fuck on a yank Yankee, yankee, yankee. yankee. Yoinky. Yoinky. Wait, now warp up? Why, wait, why, why warp out? What do you mean? You mean leave party? You mean leave party? Yeah, we just keep doing the same thing over and over. It seems like every time we do this, it's like a guaranteed level and a half close to two levels. All right. All right, let's see here. That's slow as fuck, to be honest. You think so? I actually think this is fast if I'm comparing it to doing like the campaign, because you're gonna have to travel. I guess you could skip the campaign. Go, 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 go. Nah. I think this is pretty fucking fast. No nodding off. Good. Yeah, I mean this is we're we're going through like all right, 24, 325. Uh didn't we wasn't I timing it at 315? I gained four levels in ten minutes. Oh fuck. Um I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, this dungeon is Moggins Works. Whoa, 
Oh! Oh, this is some weird fucking lag. I haven't seen that before. I have my class quest already. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it at level 40 plus. Once we're done here, I'll do that. Yeah, I mean, shit. Yo. God damn, hello. What do you mean, bio? Nice, holy shit. That, see, that was a fuck ton of XP. That was a half a bar that fast. The entire dungeon is bulged on one spot. Oh, I see. Oh my fucking god. Yankee. God damn. God damn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll start collecting gear when I'm a higher level. Right now, I'm just gonna literally uh, reset. All right, uh, selling real quick. I'm just gonna s junk everything and just extract all the aspects. You won't be able to grind for real after this? I will. Why wouldn't I be able to? I feel like I'll probably end up getting some legendaries. I can start slowly collecting and sorting the gear I get at 40. Uh, right here. Yeah, just real quick. I definitely missed a ledgy too, because my stash is blinking. Alright, let me see. All items. Alright, two, four ledgies. Don't ruin all that work. You're gonna do a hardcore run too? Uh, hardcore doesn't really appeal to me. Like, it's cool, but I feel like eventually you're just gonna fucking die. I want a consistent character. Safe. Maybe if the stakes were a little higher, like, or it would be like, oh, if you play hardcore, like, the drops are different in a way, or I don't know. Hold up, I'm just uh, extracting real quick. I guess I could just stash all legendaries to make this faster. I'm wasting time doing this. Holy shit, that's so expensive. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm stashing all my legendaries. Better idea. Stash all legendaries. They're all level 43, 45. Yeah, fuck that shit. Hold on. Yeah, hold. Yeah, I might buy a stash tab because it's cheaper. Uh, 100,000. And just stash all legies for now. Don't salvage, always sell gear. I have uh, 10 million gold. I have been salvaging my whole playthrough. All right, yeah, I'm coming right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna start selling my yellows then. Salvage is good for transmog. Uh, yeah, I mean, the ones that are transmog, you can... Uh, Salvage. All the other yellows that are whatever, just sell them for the gold. Oh yeah, my XP pot wore off. Okay, see? That was also an interesting indicator too. It took 30 minutes. That is a perfect indicator. Because I had my, uh, my XP flask popped. So it took 30 minutes to hit level 26. The transmog salvage thing was one of the worst ideas for this game. It does seem a little odd. You should just be able to, if you if you get the loot, it, you just get the transmog. I don't know why you need to salvage it to get the transmog. It seems kind of like a random not needed. It's like, if you get it, you fucking unlock it. The end. Wait, what, what just happened? You guys, was that the end? You guys left? Yeah. That was fast. Oh, weird. So it only ports me out if I leave party. If you all leave, I'm here alone. All right. 
All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, nice. All right, good shit, good shit. Let's go, let's go. You can press E and TP out. Oh yeah, it doesn't leave dungeon port you right to the entrance of the dungeon, so that's one way of doing it. All right, yo, this is going pretty fucking fast. If I was soloing right now, it'd be like level 10. Maybe level like eight. I guess the, the main worrisome right now is definitely I might get gear fucked. Where it will take a while when I'm level 50. I might just be so gimped. And I need a... Gr I'm gonna have to... There's gonna be a bit of grinding at level 50. So he just enters dungeon and AFK and wait for the clear. Yeah, on this specific dungeon called Mogwin's Works. The chat recommended. If you keep the legendaries, you won't be true, true. It does look like there is a lot of gear dropping here. That might be solid. Oh fuck. Hey yo, there's an elite chasing me down. I gotta read the sacred tooltip. I don't get how sacred shit works. Like there's unique and then you can get a sacred unique. Is a sacred just literally better statted yellow? It's literally it's literally like a super legendary. And then it's okay, it's oh okay. Does it make it so the ranges are higher? So where it's like, oh, nine out of fifteen. If a legendary is like 9 to 15%, uh, legendary sacred is like 15 to 20. Oh, uh, okay. And then uniques are slot specific. So like... You, you want to find like... Yeah, well actually, wait, what's, a, what's the unique? The aspect isn't unique. Is a unique just even higher stats? And then a unique sacred is even higher stats? And then there's ancestral too, right? Has anyone looted an ancestral? Have anyone here looted ancestral? Those are probably available at tier four, right? The aspect on a unique is unique. I actually look, oh, oh, okay. But it's... Okay. Hmm. Oh, unique is a fixed aspect to that unique. So... So if I have a legendary unique with an aspect that I really like, I then have to find a unique with that aspect. with that specific aspect that I use. So, aren't you, you, wait, you can't extract a unique. Yeah, Yo, Blood Necro got decently. It didn't get crazy buffed. It kind of got buffed. Yeah. Blood Golem got buffed and fucking Bloodlands got buffed. Blood Golem made it so. Yeah. Blood Wave got buffed, but like, you know. Yeah. Oh, wait, we're done again? Damn, this is actually fucking fast. Holy shit. Okay. Necrominion suck ass. Why not go pure blood? Um, I mean, pure blood. I don't, I don't know. I mean, shit. I was, I was very close to pure blood. But I still got owned. 
Uniques are unique. That's why you extract the legendary to use it on the slots. You don't use uniques. <sighs> Smells good. Don't stir too much, though. Yeah. Are the stats fixed on a unique? So, like, everything is fixed on a unique? Or just the aspect? Yeah. No. Oh, everything is. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I guess what my I was maybe I maybe fucked my question up, but essentially that would mean that some slots you don't want to you don't want a full character uniqued out, right? Are ancestrals unique as well? They lock you into certain builds, yeah. Are Ancestrals more like a legendary? Can you... You can have only one unique. Ancestral are just sacred, but higher. Sacred and Ancestral basically just mean better stats. Oh. Is it an Ancestral item or parentheses Ancestral? Like, uh, is, is, is it, is it a level up from a sacred? Oh, fuck. Y'all yeah, being chased, boys! Eh. Oh, it, okay, okay. That's literally, it's just like a higher sacred. Okay. Guys! Thank you, thank you. Very nice, very nice. Good shit. Lonely trash. Nice. You can have more than one unique? Yeah. So yeah, it locks you into a build where I would... Okay, so for example, I would try to focus on the uniques that would be bow specific. And once I get all the uniques... Let's say for my bow, I need two fucking rings and amulet and boots. And all four of those fixed aspects are for my bow. All the other uniques are just, like, not that great. So then I, that's where I would put legendaries in. Hoping for, like, sacred or ancestral roles in those other slots. Right? You want to loot the big package side and think we're clear? The loot is going to be 50 years for him, isn't it? Probably wait till he's closer or Lego. I mean, if a Lego drops, it will just go into my stash anyways. But I'll, uh, you guys can just focus on resetting. As soon as you drop group, I'll just run in. As soon as you drop group, I'll, I'll run in and grab shit. Plus all these sacreds, I'm probably just gonna end up selling our, you know, so yeah. There's only like five uniques per class. Oh, holy shit. I thought there was like 50. Clan full? Yeah, it's 150. Um, it's 150 slots. We're full. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious if they're going to end up introducing set pieces. I forgot in like Diablo 3. I don't remember how crucial set pieces were. Like, would you literally just like... I don't know if it, like, what I'm saying is I don't know if you'd get, like, a full set in Diablo and be done with it. I think you kind of mix and match the set bonuses. The thing is, if you... Oh, but what would you hunt then? You hunt set pieces, but you would hope that your, like, your chest set piece rolls higher and higher. Even set weapons? Why are you getting carried? Because I'm 
made it all. Oh, you can get an ancestral set as well. Oh. Nice! Y'all level 30! Good shit. Yo, now they, they know we're doing this, man. The fucking devs are watching, and now we're not getting anything. Hey, I'm just gonna sell all this shit real quick. I'll be right back. Will you do this every season? Well, that wouldn't make sense. Season gameplay implies you would just go through, uh... You would do everything... No, because everyone would be level one. Unless you wait for everybody to level up. Yeah, give it over. God damn, bro. Hold on, yeah, I gotta go my stash. Actually, whatever. I'll come back. We're good. We're good, we're good. Oh, wait, yeah, hold up. Did you level? Oh, there we go. Day two, people will be level 50. I mean, if you like no life it, yeah. I really hope they fucking pop off with the seasons, man. I really hope they don't fumble it. Because I think they're in a good spot. Everybody, What the fuck is this? Where the hell am I? Oh, it spawned me here? I gotta run to Mogwins? Yo, hold on, yo. I gotta... I gotta run. Oh, shit. It ported me weird. They said they'll have different themes for every season. I know, but you know what? Right now, everything's just talk. We need to actually see it. I'm here. All right. My bad. We're good. Every time I got to sell, it's the delay. All right, this is curious. This is interesting now because now I'm level 30. How much XP? Will I get a level? I'm assuming this is going to be a level of clear. But XP is now, obviously, it's way more. 125,000 XP. I mean, shit. I think the party health bars are bugged. It's either like full HP or no HP. Unless they're just like spamming the shit out of their pots. What the fuck, are they 30? I know. Yeah, true, it could be range based as well. Okay, so interesting around level 30. There's probably like one or two more a couple more mobs left So almost a hundred thousand XP a run We done a hundred thousand XP a run. Oh shit ledgy bow, dude. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not fucking bad. And plus, that took like two minutes. A hundred thousand XP, like uh, every two minutes. And and plus, I don't know. We're not like super efficient, so you can you know min max a little here. Setup is longer than actually getting into a dungeon. Yeah, it's weird. I swear you invite me and then I don't get invited. I need to do that again. I don't think this isn't... This isn't an exploit. You did this in D3 too. Accept. Transfer. Okay, I thought we were actually banned for exploiting.
Yeah, I don't know. How, me. I don't know how much more efficient we can be here. I don't know if like uh, you group up the mobs more in the middle and just AOE them down and Why then quickly are we always the ones who get watch duty? come back. It'll be nice though at this rate, I'll be able to actually do uh, world tier three and just gear up this character and play him end game now, which is nice. So um, I think it's like I, I'm losing I'm not losing a lot of time, a uh, play time on re-rolling, which is pretty sick. You know, obviously if this was WoW and I was like level 40, and then I was like, ah, oh, I'm going mage. That's like a, it would take like five days <laughs> to get to that point. All right, nice. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, buddy. That guy fucking smelled me. I'm like a rat in the corner. I'm gonna grab that one because the bunny is going to have that. Nice. All right, good shit. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. Let's go. Fuck out of here. Damn, this looks like so much fun. I'm having a blast, dude. I love seeing XP bars go up in games. Especially a game where the XP bar I like. What skills are you gonna use? This is gonna be a pure archer. Like, complete fucking Halls of Torment archer is where I'm at. Yeah, it's satisfying. You still have to use skills? I know, I'm gonna hit level 50 and then just, like, put all my points in. I guess I could start my build. Um, so I'm, like, ready. I have enough points to actually make the build. Until I fully figure out. Yeah, actually, why not? Let me do this. Yeah, 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 might as well. I can just, uh, make the blueprint here. I apologize. Hey, no nodding off. Hey. Actually, I'm not sure what you use for the bow build here. I wonder which one, Heartseeker, and I didn't know increase your critical strike chance against them. Uh, throw blades. Uh, fire power for enemy. Every third cast makes the enemy vulnerable. Yeah, let's maybe go for Vulnerable. Every throw has a uh, finish chance to increase crit strike. I'll just uh, do a little force weapon pierces through vulnerable targets. Knocks back non-elites. Nope. Uh, and then we're going to go. We have rapid fire. Penetrating. Barrage. I'm not sure just yet. I think you want a bit of rapid fire and penetrating shot. Let me just make sure I'm in range here. 31. Nice. All right, where else are we at? I'm just putting points into stuff right now. Let me just go. When cast a full in your printer shot, will slow all enemies hit. Damage at least your printer shot has a 20 increased crit strike chance. Each side area from rapid fire has a 5% increased critical strike chance. Gain 15 energy per cast of rapid fire when damage is vulnerable. Rapid fire, do a 3 increase critical strike damage for 3 seconds after you evade. Let's uh, focus more on vulnerability right now. Dash. Okay, where are Come we good? With me. Are we good? Oh, shit. My bad, my bad. Yes. Let me pick this up. How much, uh, all right, I'm good. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's get the fuck out of here. All right. Nice. 
Yeah, let me see again. So I'm at 43,800 right now. So let's see how much XP I gain from here. I do remember two dashes, like, uh, you're literally cool. more mobile Don't than the majority much, of, uh, uh, of all the other there classes are so in the many game. Ways I could kill you. Okay, let's see. I think weapon mastery is worth it because I get crit strike damage. Shadow step is not something I need. Caltrops I could use with a bow build. Enemies take 3% uh, take increase down from your each second there in Caltrop. Cold, you have 5% crit strike chance against enemies inside your Caltrops. Double this amount against vulnerable. Actually, maybe Caltrops is worth it for the vulnerable. After knocking back or knocking down an enemy, gain 4% increased crit strike chance against them for 3 seconds. Enhanced dash, slows enemies. Uh, okay. Shadow imbuement. Imbued skills gain more shit. We can go shadow for now. Um, I remember poison was pretty fun. I could go poison. Like a poison arrow. We have rain of arrows. We'll go all the way down. Okay. 43,000, okay, 80,000, 43. Okay, so basically still around 100,000 XP. Wait, what? Butcher can drop a mount if you kill him? The fuck? I have still yet to see the Butcher, dude. Since the beta, I've never seen that motherfucker. My fucking game's bugged. I have an XP pot right here. He hits hard. Saw Butcher twice yesterday. Does he, is it like, does he drop a shit ton of good loot? That's kind of sick he drops a mount. I didn't know he does. Oh shit, I thought you guys were done. It was very quiet. Boots, nice. I gotta see how like this whole build works. What is this? Every third cast additionally has an increased crit strike chance. Oh, okay. That's what that number is. I do know there's a good, um, legendary for some of their shit. I know Penetrating Shot has a good legendary. Alright, what else do I do here? I would follow, like, a straight-up archer guide just for, um... Because I know I'm not going to do this perfectly. I'm kind of just, like... I got the gist. Uh, like, I'm gonna upgrade. If, if someone wants to link me, like, a good archer guide, I'm down. If anyone has one. Like, a solid archer guide, I'm down. Link me and I'll fucking copy it. Penetrating shot rogue. Uh, getting started, build guides. Death trap rogue, activity. I guess, would it be end game now? At level four, when you beat the campaign, it's end game. Twisting, oh, so penetrating shots, the only one here. Use caltrop, shadow imbuement, poison imbuement, dark shroud, forceful penetrating? The fuck? You don't use rapid fire or anything? Yo, that's kind of weird. You don't use rapid fire?
Death Trap Rogue. I made my own build with Rapid and Pen Shot. I like it way better. How do you get your energy, Zeth? What's your what's your energy maker? Rapid pen poison trap shroud trap ult. Death trap ult? Nah, I want to stick with rain of arrows, even though it's a 60 second cooldown. I just prefer rain of arrows. I'm trying to go pure arrows. Mostly comes from build, it regens on crits. I have puncture though. You're doing puncture over. Yeah. Where are we done? Oh shit, are you guys done here? My bad. Hey yo, where the loot at? Whatever, let's exit, it's fine. Look up rogue spam ult build. Yeah, someone said there is a rogue build where you can spam your reign of arrows. I did see that. I'm assuming rapid fire with the range right to build back energy. All right, let's go. Blade Storm Rogue. I, I specifically made this rogue to be an archer chat. Okay. Ah, smells good. Don't stir too much though. All right, now I have a guide here, but I don't know. Um, what did you say you use? Rapid and pen. Poison trap, rapid pen, poison shroud, trap ult. Uh, what is your imbuement, Zeth? Yeah, what's your imbuement though? God damn, you aggroed fucking the whole server. None, they're not worth it? I have death trap spam, can keep using it. Really? The imbuement ain't, I remember in the beta, the imbuement was great. Oh fuck, boys, some spawned behind us. Straight, straight shot archer. There are imbue builds, just not what I met, went with. Fuck, man. Max roll makes it sound like there's nothing else viable in the game other than just following that shit. You know? All right, you're gonna sell too? Yeah, let's go back, I'm gonna sell. I'm assuming we were done there, right? Reign of Arrows build. I don't know if we were done. I poured it out. All right, let me see here. Hi, everyone. I'm going to talk about one particular... Oh, Woody Joe did a guide? This guy, this is the dude you want to listen to. That's a deal. That's a deal. That's a deal. That's a deal. You go stash all this stuff and then uh, smack. Invite me when you're done. Yeah, we're almost there. I'm I'm like 13 levels away from my main. You can't be serious, Tom Iris. Morgan's folly is lost in ruins. Going back is... This Edit tab? Is oh, there's tab icons. This oh. isn't for the fort, for Akarat. Surely you understand that. Still gotta do all the Lilith altars as well. 
All the Lilith altars are going to take a while, but it's worth doing just because of the stat boosts. You have to. I'm curious, though, if you get all the Lilith stat statues, like, what is the actual number of stats you get at the end? Someone probably did the math for it. 12 hours to do all of the statues. Oh, shit. Yeah. Interesting build that I've tried out with my rogue when I had the early access client to Diablo 4. So I actually have a full build planner here that I made um, like around that time. And with this preparation specialization, you can reset your ultimate skills by four seconds every time you spend 100 energy. And then you might have seen this unique item that was previewed already on one of the developers teams, I believe, or something. Oh! That uh, gives you all imbuements when you use Ram Arrows. So I actually tried to make a build around this, and this is what you see here in action. Rain of Arrows is a horribly Wait. undertuned skill, in my opinion, on a rogue. It's like the one rogue skill that is just like awful in my book. And I tried to make it work with that amulet. It's like the one build enabling item for Rain of Arrows, in my opinion. Other than that, I don't really see much hope for it. Now, there are also other reasons to use Rain of Arrows. I can definitely see that being useful in PvP. I can see it even useful for a certain, like, very difficult content. Where you just, like, press the button and it's, like, some kind of panic button or, like, some, you know, massive crowd control disable that it can do at the start of a fight when uh, you have, like, this three second lockdown that it can also prolong with other effects. So, there are definitely reasons to use Rain of Arrows, but it's, like, very, very niche. And here, it's supposed to be kind of like a main damage nuke. With this preparation ability, I will try to reset it as fast as possible to get up the prison blades. And you can see that it does come back relatively quickly. And it does look awesome and do a lot of damage. You see how <laughs> sometimes those elites just melt. And uh, you can just reset the cooldown when you're constantly attacking in something like 10 seconds, maybe 15 seconds. My cooldown wasn't really like fully optimized around this build. So wait, he's general, using a rain of arrows, but he's not, he's not an though archer would... though. He's using his daggers to attack and then use rain of arrows. Yeah, it's more like, I thought it was all arrows and then rain of arrows. You know, that's not the case. Yeah, it's a dagger build with rain of arrows. I'm, I thought it was full arrows with rain of arrows. There's no bow build because it sucks. Fuck you. It does not suck. I believe. I believe. I swear to God, I don't know what that, that first accept takes five years. Okay, um... Shh. God damn, someone's shitting out all their gear here. Yeah, penetrating shots away. How can arrow second people aren't level 100 yet? Maybe top tier items? I mean, they were nerfing Paragon, so I mean, there must be a huge difference as you start putting points into Paragon, I think. Okay, so let's go penetrating shot, rapid fire. The thing about penetrating shot and rapid fire, you have two moves that both use energy. I have a unique image that has random arrows, has all imbues, and all imbues are buff. Yeah, that's the one he was talking about. Okay, let me see here. Um, flurry, critical striking an enemy grants movement speed. So, I, I guess I'll keep for, full, uh, Forceful Arrow for now. Actually, wait, so you don't have... So, Zeth, you have no basic because you get all your resource from uh, crits and stuff. No, D, uh, no generator. You gain 4% close damage reduction, heal for max health. Yeah, like, I'm not actually going to put points in. I, I guess I'll just do this here. Or no. Fuck it. I'll leave this for now. I have Puncture as base, but I leveled with Forceful. Puncture as base. Uh... Okay. 
What is barrage again? Oh yeah, I fucking forgot about barrage. Caltrops, damage reduction, damage reduction, evade cooldown, caltrops, strategy yourself, gain damage reduction, not to be consumed while you have four active, eight crit chance, uh, and movement speed. Uh, I see why you want to use that for the crit as well. You deal 6% increased damage to healthy and injured enemies. Imbued skills. I'll do no imbuements for now. I'm a little curious if I do no imbuements. I feel like I'm gimping myself heavily. Lucky hit up to a 10% chance to gain 8 energy. When poison hard actor, you gain 4% increased crit strike chance against vulnerable poison trap or death trap. Yeah, I haven't really put any points into there yet. Um, you want imbues until you get the aspects that make pen arrow or rapid be have better AOE. Okay. I might drop caltrops for now then. Close quarters. Oh, we're out. Okay. Shadow imbuement generates energy. Imbues are the only thing that makes the spec feel playable. Let's max this out. You have a 50% increased crit strike chance against injured enemies affected by Shadow Imbuement. Shadow uh, Primary Explosion makes enemies vulnerable. Enemies affected by Shadow take 12% increased non-physical damage. Okay. I'm trying to focus on vulnerability right here. Imbue skills gain 9% crit. Oh fuck, I'm out of points. Critical attack with marksman skill against your precision. You gain 4% increased crit strike damage per stack of precision. Hold on. When you reach maximum precision, next maximum is grant, uh, guaranteed critical strike. Dealing direct damage to a vulnerable enemy has up to a 30 percent cause an explosion. Ex oh, maybe. I could see Victimize being good. Dealing direct damage to an enemy affected by a trap. I'm trying not to use any traps. Damage to a close enemy with maximum or cut through skill. Uh, attack speed bonus. While both attack speed bonus are active, you deal 10% increased damage against critical enemies. That's kind of cool. Cutthroat skills grant a stack of momentum. These aren't cutthroat. These are all marksmen. Oh, dash is cutthroat? Eh, I don't really care. I think precision is the way right now to go. Reina arrows down. Lucky hit. Shadow imbuement is five. One in dark shroud. One point here. Uh, I could say fuck caltrops for now. Rapid fire. Uh, penetrating shot. Rapid fire. Full, forceful arrow. Uh, after using an ult, restore energy. While moving, gain increased energy. I could try the lucky hit. Every 100 energy you spend grants you 5 increased lucky hit chance. Oh yeah, the XP pot. There you go. Oh yeah, everybody left. Yeah, if I stay in the dungeon and you guys invite me, I'm assuming it will port me. Oh, whoops. Go back out. I know this isn't fully efficient. You know, we're going to get there. <clears throat> yeah, by level 100, can you technically have points in this whole shit? Or like, is there a point where you stop having attribute points? When do you stop getting attribute points? Yeah. 
Oh, level 50? No, only 58 points. Oh, okay. What other flat damage? You deal 3% increased damage. You deal certain increase to healthy and injured. Okay, so I'd want to go down here. Uh, we're not using any of these. This is pure bow. We have one. We have the dash rank. Hold on. I'm seeing something. Two, three, one, two. Do I still have... Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, no. I probably should put one point into the dash. Not having the dash is dumb. Oh, okay. So you literally start with... Uh, uh, two when you get it. If I do no caltrops... I could try doing no caltrops, but caltrops... Might be worth it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Level 37 right now. Good shit. I wanted to play an archer, Redmire. That's why. Necromancer, I was just getting tired of constantly resummoning my uh, minions. I was just getting really annoyed of it. And my build kind of sucked ass too. There's there's definitely a lot of that involved. You there, please help! You there, please help! I got shit to do, man. Yeah, they're already nerfing a bunch of stuff, but a lot of stuff got uh a lot of stuff got buffed too. There's not higher XP pots, it's always five percent. Where else can I improve here? Evade cooldown, knocking back an enemy when you critically strike dazed. So then I stuck the fool with his own blade. <laughs> Stutter step wouldn't be bad. I'm looking for like the pure damage ones. I think exploit and malice is where I want to go for pure damage. While moving, you gain energy, increase energy regen. Whoa, haste is kind of good. While at or above 50% max energy, gain five increased move speed. While below 50, gain 5% increased attack speed. That's not bad. There's so many fucking areas to put points into right now. Um, I did have a point in set the finger Dark on Shroud. My collection. So, I could get... Oh, shit. What do I do here? Shit. Do I do Caltrops? Or Dark Shroud? I say fuck this. Keep this. Free up the points. Slowly put points into here. Hey, yo, I'm close, boys. What, yo? I'm, 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 ten, I'm nine levels away from where I was on the necro. I'm gonna start following you guys because I'm gonna have to start collecting gear now. Because now gear is gonna start becoming crucial. You there, please help. Bless you. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta, sorry, I gotta do that. You have legendaries in your stash? I know, but I don't have a lot in my stash. Two passives that gives injured and healthy damage are OP on level three, and the next one gives vulnerable damage. Greetings. Um, I think I got that hey, one. No nothing off. Oh yeah, this one right here is probably is the next one I'm gonna work on. Right here, these two are huge. And then the, all this whole cluster here is good. This would be like a 75 energy, so I pop this and I gain 75 energy as well. Yeah. 
Alright, I'm gonna try to stick with you guys a little bit. I still have the level one bow. So it looks like it's now kind of like a run and a half to level because I'm at 180,000 XP. Ah! Oh shit! I still die. All right, I still, I'm still a little weak. Definitely still a little weak here. Still got no gear. Imagine if he was playing on hardcore. I know we've had this conversation every death Every death is an imagine if We can pick up loot for you to drop True We are rushing the elite mobs no, I'll, I'll try to survive better I'll be with you guys. You don't need to pick up shit. I'll be there. You know, I actually like the crit chance. Caltrops are cool. I don't know though. Vulnerable, you caltrop them, the vulnerable damage. I think I'd rather for a fucking crit chance. Yeah, I think I'd rather the crit chance. And then where's my character sheet? Just to see where my crit strike chance is 14% right now. Necro! Necro! Is the grind to 100 very tough? I have no idea. I have yet to even level a paragon. What are most of you guys doing? Are most of you guys, um... Are you guys just doing dungeons and side quests in your Paragon? What are you doing? Ninety-nine to a hundred is nearly the same as one to ninety-nine. Holy shit. Something. Nice. Dude, come on, bro. I ran right into that shit. Thank you. I ran right into the fucking explosion. Deserved. Alright, let me just, uh... Movement speed, attack speed. Hello. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I hope I can leave. Yes. Oh, shit! Oh, no. Oh, shit. Imagine if this was Hawkeye. I wonder if it will port me out here. I transfer? Oh, nice. All right, good shit, good shit. We're close, yo, we're close. 
Yikes. Shit legendary. So I can actually start equipping my legendary soon. 43s, 45s. We're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Indeed. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, this is the boosting team service. What the fuck? Who is that guy? Yo, level 40! Yo! 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 Not bad, not bad. Yo, good shit. I'd say seven, maybe seven. Let's go to level 47 and we'll break off. And then I'm basically yeah. at my necros area. You need a lot of energy. I have a hundred right now. Right. Good shit. Yeah, campaign's finished. Is a non-minion necro build not viable at all in this game? It is. It must be. It definitely is. Yeah. But you have to keep grinding for it. Yeah. Yeah. Greetings. Yeah, what's gonna happen here is, um, my build is gonna be so shit because I'm gonna have none of my legendaries are gonna have synergy with my bow. It's gonna be all dagger shit. Watch. Yeah, watch those pustules. What the fuck? Wait, is that so wait, what is your main uh are you using how are you using rapid fire and penetrating shot? And you're using twist and you're using uh puncture as well? Yeah, I could do the dungeon that has a uh, penetrating shot. You don't need rapid fire if you have penetrating shot. True. Rapid fire is just more fun to use, but penetrating shot has the better aspect. <coughs> I use rapid on bosses. Why are we always the ones who get Do the dungeon for the minute? Oh, wait. Otherwise, pen destroys the crowds. Can make this dungeon nightmare? Uh oh. Something tells me I'm not gonna get more XP from a nightmare dungeon. I could be wrong, but maybe the mob density is higher in a nightmare dungeon? All right, let me then get rid of rapid for now. And we'll do penetrating with puncture. Right? Um And 
then... Okay. I ran out and back in. Oh. Shit! Good shit, boys. Fuck them up. Fuck them up. Fuck them up. Shit, good shit. I don't know, is, night is Nightmare worth doing or should we just keep doing this? I mean, six more levels. I've been playing for three days and I'm level 15. I don't believe you. This is so dumb! This is so dumb! Here I am, riding in this fucking bitch. It's level 41. All right, hold up. Let me see here. Can I see what my like vulnerable damage or chances? Vulnerable damage, 27%. It's a chance to cause vulnerability, isn't it? One to two hours a day. Oh, wait, is you're playing only one to two hours a day? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> 